Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing off my Fire Jin, um, basically testing him out and using him for a lot of different things. I, I'll just kind of show his gems right now. It's basically Siphon, Crit Rate, Double Attack. Um, and yeah, he's he's maxed out. He's a variant. He's got a level 2 variant skill, so 16% crit. It's not the best, but I mean, it's good enough. It's basically what was able to boost it. everything I need. Um, I only really need 5 more percent, so it doesn't even matter. Even a level 1 leader skill would have been fine. So we're going to basically just test him out in a lot of places. Um, normally, I farm star sanctuary for for um, dragon sigils the reason why i farm star sanctuary is because i can basically break even kind of break even when i'm farming star sanctuary and i can kind of passively gain astrogens if i don't really spend anything um the way i passively gain astrogens is obviously from you know when i when i get to heroes one in um in in uh astromon league <laughs> I just forgot, all of a sudden forgot what this was called. Um, if I get Heroes 1 Astromon League, I, I will be able to get 700 Astro Gems a week. I get about 200 in Clan, so that's basically like 900 Astro Gems. And then I also, um, you know, when there's like a double gold event, I always farm on the double gold maps. And when I'm farming, I'm actually making a profit because I'm actually making more gold. When I convert the gold back into Astro Gems, I, I make more Astro Gems. Um, yeah, so that's basically all the ways I, I passively make astrogens. I can basically keep farming Star Sanctuary forever without losing anything. Um, I, I won't lose any... Like, I, I basically lose a little bit, but um, the the passive income of, like, you know, doing the double every day, um, and then whenever they give you, like, free energy from the trees and all that stuff, and, like, all these, um, like, you know, they have, like, push events, they have, like, the events where they give you, like, free shit, um, from all that stuff, I'm able to make a little bit of an income, and I'm basically able to, you know, make more gold over time while not really losing anything, um, just farming Star Sanctuary non-stop. That is if I don't spend any gold at all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, um, I actually was trying something else, I was using like the two nightmares to, to do some tanking because I was farming on Mirage Ruins. Um, I found a really really good strategy for for using this gin in farming. Basically what I do is I I use, like for example this, this level has two light and two dark. So what I do is I put something that has like elemental disadvantage against it. So for example, um, a dark unit will always attack a light unit, and a light unit will always attack a dark unit. So I basically just put in a dark unit, and then these two will always get hit. The fire gym will never get hit. He will never get CC'd, and he's basically able to um, get his bar full on first turn. And his, on his with his second skill, he's always able to get his bar full. Plus, he's able to one shot everything. So that's that's basically all I really need him for. Now, for the last slot, I can basically put a monster that I'm leveling. Um, it can be anything really. I don't really need to <laughs> need to care too much. Um, so I'll just throw in the start Coco, and then this is basically what I do. I just make make it so that that they tank the damage, um, and my fire gen never gets hit. And this way, I can basically get the fastest runtime possible. Now, I actually got a comment, uh, like got a comment from from my last. Oh my god, holy shit! I forgot to turn on the auto. All right, that was like five seconds. Uh, five seconds wasted. Um. But yeah, he's able to one. Sh he's able to get his bar full on turn one, and then he's able to one shot everything on turn two, and then you know with his AOE he basically kills everything as well. Um, plus he's never targeted, so that's that's also very nice. It's quite annoying when they target you because I think they have like stuns and stuff, so there's a chance that it's it might slow down your run. So it's actually pretty good that he's fire fire based. That was 40 seconds. Could have been, could have been a little bit shorter, I think. We'll do another test run. So I got a suggestion yesterday um, in like in one of my comments, basically saying that I could possibly run my run a team where I base where I put like level one monsters, so they actually die on the first wave, and um, you know because sometimes. Some monsters have fa have slower animation. Like, I'm not sure if the Light Victoria has a slower animation than the Jin. Maybe she has a faster animation. I'm, I'm not really sure. But basically, I don't really want. Oh, I just ran into. Hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to catch her. So, basically, uh, 
if you have any one that has a s slower animation than the than the fire gen, um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be losing potential time like that it takes for me to to speed the run up because it, the game will always wait for the the animation to finish. I think the dark Mona has a slower animation than the gen. The gen actually has a, has a faster animation. Um, so in order to make it not make this not happen, what 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 uh. What was suggested was I put in some level one monsters, like a slime or something, and then I can I can use that to to I can take the tank the damage on turn one as well as getting killed like really really fast. So we, so I think I, I might it might be a good idea to prepare one slime of every element and uh, using that instead. Maybe I shouldn't use slimes because I use slimes to to slime and then like I might have to click something and then find out it's locked and it's gonna be really annoying. Um, Wait, let me let me let me try this again. Maybe I have some level one light dark units I can use. That's like for sure gonna get one shot. Dang it! Why are they all level seven? All right, maybe this will work. I'll just put in like two really weak light dark units, and then I'll put in like, and then for the last unit, basically it's like, oh, I should actually put in another really weak light unit as a, as the last unit as well. So I'll put in like a ghost. Is the ghost tankier than this wolf? The wolf's in a balance type. The ghost is uh is tank, right? Alright, alright, we're we're using these. I think they're called ties, they're not wolves. We'll see if this works. See if they get one shot on turn one. So it like slows down the animation even more. Okay, he actually doesn't get his bar at all. Yeah, I can actually use his robot. He's pretty weak. His animation is really fast. He only does one attack, and then he like ret returns instantly. Unless his AOE is a slow animation. Maybe I should use slimes or sparklers. Maybe sparklers have faster animation. I'm not too sure. Or maybe the mimics have fast animation, but I need I need to prepare because because these guys are gonna level to level twenty, so they might not get one shot on the first turn. So what I like, yeah, I got I got the thirty five. That's actually yeah, that's actually faster than thirty six seconds. So I basically using this, I was able to cut cut down one second of farm time because um, the limit I thought was 30, 36 seconds. So actually, I was able to get to thirty five seconds. Now there might actually be a monster with faster. Like I don't, I'm not sure if Fire Gen has like the fastest animation. There's probably um, some monster that can still one shot the wave with faster animation. So I'm gonna have to test out like which monster has the fastest animation ever, and um, you know maybe I can get to 34, or maybe 33 seconds in in Star Sanctuary farming. Um, but I think for now this is this is definitely good enough. Like if I'm constantly farming on 35 seconds, I should be able to get quite a lot of dragon sigils. So what I'm what I'm thinking is I need to prepare one monster like level one monster like one star monster that has fast animation. I'm gonna have to test out if the if the slimes or sparklers or mimics have the fastest animation, um, and also need to know if they're like you know hopefully they're squishy enough even at max level to to get one shot. They probably will like the extreme mobs are pretty strong so, and at max level they can only get to level ten so um, I'm pretty sure they'll they'll get one shot. I just hope that the the mimics have like slow enough um, or fast enough animation to to be faster than my gin so they don't waste any any potential time um, but yeah that, that's pretty much it for for story map farming now the other thing I, I got a request to to test out the gin on slumbering city now the problem with this is because slumbering city is actually the mobs are really really high level I won't be able to one shot them so I'll basically need to I'm not too sure like what I can actually do I need I probably need to put like a light tank and then like a um, since he's fire, he's not going to get like focused. The dark unit is always going to hit the Victoria, and the wood unit will not hit the fire unit. So the, his only threat is is going to be coming from this molar. But the molar isn't well. The molar has attack down, so that's also very very annoying. Um, maybe maybe I can do maybe I can do this, and then yeah another fire unit and then another maybe another fire unit I don't have an, yeah I don't have another fire unit 
I was thinking of putting like a. If I put a wood unit, the fire unit will always hit the wood unit, and the my gin will never get hit. But actually, I'm not sure if that will actually make the runs faster at all. And plus, I have no wood unit, so I guess we're 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 left with um. I guess we'll have to use like a dark based attacker. It's probably the only, the best solution. I haven't tested this out at all. I have not tested him out in Slumbering City. This is probably his first run ever. I'm not even sure if he can do it because this is this map's actually pretty hard. All right, it, it takes two turns to get his bar full. Oh shit! And he got hit. Wait, why the fuck did the wood unit hit him? Yeah, he isn't. I don't think he's gonna have enough damage to like one shot stuff. Yeah, he got attacked down. It's pretty sad. Ooh, they killed my fire succubus. This is not working. Ooh, that 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 attack buff, attack down buff is super annoying. They don't do enough. Da like, if he gets attacked down, he doesn't do enough damage to siphon enough. Alright, I'm gonna, like, see how much damage he actually does without the attack down. I think, theoretically, this could work. Um, it can work if I have multiple fire gens on Siphon. Like, if I, if, for example, I had four, because they, if one of them gets attacked down, the other one won't get attacked down, meaning that somebody is gonna be able to, to, like, if, if I have two of them on full bar, um, without attack down, I can basically, basically one-shot the wave. Anyways, that that wasn't too fast. It was actually pretty slow. It was probably like two minutes, minute forty-two seconds. Not really any faster than running, um, running my Miho team. But the thing is, like, the Slumbering City isn't going to be the most efficient map anymore after the two come out, and these two are coming out next month. So. Um, I'm guessing that Glacial Plains is probably going to be water-based. I mean, look, just, it's, it's ice, so it's probably going to be, like, water or something. And then this one, I have a feeling that it's going to be, like, dark-based or something. I have no idea. Aurora Plateau, like, ha gives off the same feeling as Star Sanctuary. I'm not too sure. Like, I, I have a feeling that this map is going to be, like, light dark-based as well. Um, so I can definitely still use him, and then I can use, like, a light unit... Um, I can use like two light dark units, maybe like a dark sea star, and then light, um, light, uh, light Vic, and then put them both on siphon because they're aggressors. So that, like I can put them on like um, you know defense siphon gems, and then they can tank the damage as well as doing some some damage themselves. So I think that actually that actually might work. I'm catching up slowly. They got luckier, caught more legendaries. Now the last thing I wanted to do is test them out in Golem's B10. Now I actually made a pretty decent Golem's B10 team um, after I raised them to max level yesterday. I did some did some tests. So this is my Fire Succubus. Uh, she is on she's on on Ruin um, crit rate double attack. Basically, I don't have like max attack on her, but I have or max crit rate on her, but I have um, enough crit rate. That with the Jin's leader skill, she has a hundred percent crit rate. Uh, the fire or the light light succubus is on is on um yeah, it's on triple HP. Um, mainly just put her here for for solo tanking, and she's also here to boost boost bar for us. Like she she can actually boost the um, the bar of everyone. So like if I'm missing like ten percent bar, she can basically boost that ten percent. So there's a higher chance that my units actually have a full bar. That's why I decided to use her as in in this slot. I'm not sure if it's better if I use her or use like a light Victoria on Siphon. Um, she can generate a lot of blue souls as well, but I I still need to get my other light Victoria, the one that um, that can fit the siphon gems to, to level 60 before I can do that. Now the other unit is the is my fire Persephone. She's my main sapper. Um, 
would really, really like to get her to Evil 3 because she actually has pretty high base damage at Evil 3. She's currently on Valor, um, crit damage, uh, attack, and crit rate. And basically with the three gems plus the, um, plus the Fire Gen's uh, leader skill, she has 100% crit rate as well. So the crit damage gem does actually be, is actually pretty effective on her. And plus she's a, she's a normal like RGB monster, so the crit damage gem definitely is, is pretty effective. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just test this out. I think I definitely need like maybe another unit on Siphon in order to make this fast enough because he actually. Um, he doesn't have enough damage to one shot the whole entire wave by himself. If it was a light nuker, yeah, like a light nuker could most likely do it. Um, or if I had another unit with a bar full, like he could, I could probably do it. But then I would need two sets of siphon in order to achieve that. Dang it, that succubus isn't getting a full bar. You know, to be honest, she's like Fire Suck is actually not that good for for this unless I can get her on Siphon as well, because then she would be spamming her defense down, and that's really the only reason I'm bringing her. It's for the it's for the hundred percent defense down. Oh, that's sad. He actually got the animation off. Like if I had one more sap, I think he yeah he would have died for sure. I don't think light succubus is actually too good. I probably should use a light Vic on on a on leech, because then this way she would still be doing some damage. This light suck isn't doing any damage at all. It's a minute and forty seconds. Um, it's not bad, but it's not it's not like nothing ex exceptional either. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is um, that is it for my my fire gen showcase um, spotlight etc could use them in PvP but to be honest like yeah right now my, my rankings pretty low so it's probably not gonna work could probably refresh the list dang it they just got even lower level you know what would be funny is, is if I can if I can uh, do something crazy Try, let's try this. I need another fire unit to like split tank. Something like that. See if I can get like turn one full bar. And then just like kill them in one AoE. I'll hit the Leo for like maximum damage, even though this probably isn't gonna kill him. Um all right, we'll just we'll just we'll just hit this Leo. Ah, dang! They stunned my. I don't I don't even know how much damage this will do to the Sura. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit! Look at that Victoria. Dang it, she keeps putting me to sleep. Alright, I don't think he's too good in PvP, but like, yeah, he's definitely really good for farming. But that, that was just for fun, that was just, uh, just a little thing for fun. Um, anyways, I'm going to be farming again, I'm going to go back to, to farming now. Um, I'm going to prepare like a lot of 1 star monsters that I'm going to lock, and they're going to be like my farming units for... <laughs> For whichever map I'm going to, I'll just like put them in as the as a filler slot. Like I'll I'll basically have like one of each element of either slime, mimic, or or sparkler. I'm not sure if sparkler is the best choice. 
Whichever one has the fastest animation, I'll, I'll pick that one and then see if I can get one element of each and then I'll just use that for for um, for speed farming. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.